Here's a quick demonstration of Cthulhu. I'm going to drag Cthulhu to a new MIDI track. I'm going to route the output of MIDI to a destination soft synth. I'm going to turn off the arpeggiator, so we'll just use the chord presets for a minute. To get started quickly, you can just select a chord preset from the menus. You can see this blue bar showing where chords are now populated across the keyboard. Any MIDI note coming in will trigger a chord. You can see this red blip indicating the note that I pushed. And you can see these green keys indicating the notes that are getting output. We can edit these by just dragging a key on the keyboard here. Or we could change it up here. So we can experiment around very easily with different chord progressions or different rhythms by just hitting single notes on our MIDI keyboard. The arpeggiator allows us to take this chord and arpeggiate it. It's a sort of unique arpeggiator that it has a step sequencer and we can set different lengths for various functions and get complex arpeggios happening that way. There's also presets for the arpeggiator, so to get started quickly, we can just select a preset. Now when I send a MIDI note to Cthulhu, it's going to trigger this chord, which then gets fed to the arpeggiator, and finally output. So you can see a half bar pattern has been made here. We can make pattern anywhere from one step to 16 steps. And we have these various graphs. Different graphs can have different step lengths. And they can also have different clock times. So you can make a graph go slower than another one. If I wanted octaves to change, say, only every three steps, I could do something like that. Now we'll hear the octaves moving around. and so on and so forth, we have various graphs, like late, to make certain notes shorter. We have a pitch graph that allows us to transpose the note material. The pitch graph is sort of unique that it has these 1 through 7 scale degrees that come up. Since each chord is analyzed, Cthulhu is able to know what chord you're playing, and therefore is able to know what the root note is versus the second scale degree or ninth of the chord, the third where you have the major or minor, fourth, the perfect fifth, sixth, and seventh. So we can enable or disable pitch transposition to only happen if particular steps are active. For instance, I might want only the fifth to switch up to a minor six occasionally, so I could disable all other scale degrees. And then anytime there's a fifth of a chord, I can make it transpose up a plus one to become like a minor six. As just an example. The late graph allows us to do swings type feels early and late on various steps. Velocity scale allows the velocities to be more or less than what should be coming out based on what we played and any velocity scaling within the chord. And the harmony graph allows a second note in addition to the note that's being output to be output. So in other words, if you wanted stacked octaves to happen on certain steps, we could add an octave. <laughs> So there you have it, there's a lot of presets. And by selecting a preset and selecting a chord or chord preset down here, you can sort of get instant musical notes out.
want more to Cthulhu, you can import MIDI files to become source material, or you can record chords straight into Cthulhu yourself uh, with the Learn button. You can copy and paste chord slots, and you can do a whole bunch of sorting where you can take the chord slots that are existing and organize them in various ways. So that's just an introduction to Cthulhu. There's going to be a very in-depth tutorial coming tomorrow.